In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the differences between an entry level and a higher end turntable. This is a question that people ask me all the time. You look at the higher end turntables in the project line, they can cost substantially more money than an entry level model like a debut. For example, this two experience SBDC turntables is about three times the price of a debut carbon. A debut carbon sells here in Canada nowadays for approximately $600. This is about $1,800. So what do you get more? And should I spend the money on a higher end turntable? Let's look at this in more detail and look at the differences. First thing you notice, obviously, this two experience is a much heavier, much bigger turntable than a debut carbon. It weighs a lot more. The plint is much thicker, much heavier. And remember what I said in the previous videos, this all has to do with resonance control, mass loading. The heavier a turntable is, the better it will be able to absorb vibrations and the quieter it will sound in the background. But it's not only the plint that's a lot heavier. There's also a completely different platter. If I turn off this debut for a second, you see that the platter is made from steel. It's a metal platter. On top of it, to protect your records and also to dampen again the resonance of that metal, is a felt mat that goes on top. This platter, completely different. It's much heavier, much thicker. It's actually made of MDF. It's made of wood, the same material that is used to make these plinths. And what's also special about it is that that black layer you see on top of the platter is actually made of vinyl the same material that is used to make vinyl records. You also see on the top here, this clamping device that comes supplied with a 2 Experience SB. And it's designed to basically push your record down on that vinyl platter, making it essentially more heavier. Because by pushing it down, it's almost like you're playing a record it has the same weight of the whole platter. So again, controls resonances, makes it quieter. Vinyl layer on top of this platter is made obviously of the same material as your vinyl records. Again, something that helps with resonance control. Another thing you see is motors. Not only uh, is this a better, more quieter, motor built to tighter tolerances that I explained in a previous video. Tolerances to which the motor is built results in less vibration. And we built all our motors ourselves. The motor also has a heavy metal damping ring machined around the top of the motor again to make it heavier and to further dampen vibrations created by the motor. It also has suspension just like it was the case with the debut car. The belt in this case is also different. This turntable doesn't have a sub platter like the debut, the little platter that sits underneath the big platter. Instead, the belt runs on the outer perimeter of the platter. So this perimeter belt drive system has one advantage the advantage is that the motor is placed further away from the center of the platter and therefore also further away from your tone arm and your cartridge. Again, making it quieter. The more distance there is in between, the quieter your turntable gets. And last but not least, look at this tone arm. Obviously, completely different than the tone arm you see on this debut car. It's a much heavier tone arm in terms of much thicker tone arm tube, still conical tone arm tube, like I explained before, to reduce resonance within the tube. 
It's also made of carbon fiber. But remember when I spoke about bearings, this is a much more precise bearing than the bearing that you see on the debut carbon. You see this large bearing ring, uh, which actually, again, uh, is used to reduce resonances, small microscopic resonances within the bearing and to control them better. It's also a four-point bearing, meaning there's two points in the horizontal plane and two points in the vertical plane. So it's much more precise, much more precisely adjusted than it is on the standard debut carbon. Tonam uh, also comes supplied with a better cartridge, which you can see here on the front. This is an Autophon 2M silver cartridge, whereas a debut carbon comes supplied with a 2M red. Essentially, a 2M silver is made by Autophon, especially for projects. It's only available on project turntables. It's a 2M red cartridge with pure silver wiring on the inside. So that also improves performance of the cartridge. Looking at this further, what you also see is larger feet under the turntable. You can see them here in front. The feet are dampened as well, and they're height adjustable. Another very important thing that this turntable has, it has a built-in electronic speed controller, a speed box. And that basically has two functions. First of all, it's a convenience feature that allows you to switch electronically between 33 and 45 RPM. If you want to switch the speed on the debut, you have to remove the platter and lose, use this little tool that comes supplied with it to put the belt on the larger step of the pulley. The reason why you want to use this little tool is that you don't want to touch the belt, the rubber belt, too much with your fingers because all the residue over time will go on that belt, which degrades it, basically. So, switching the speed on the debut carbon involves removing the platter and putting the belt on the smaller step for 33 RPM and the bigger step for 45 RPM. Here, you can do it at the touch of the button. There's another big advantage to a built-in speed controller, or a speed box, as we call it. This also makes the motor run at a more precise and more accurate speed. What it essentially does is it generates its own frequency to make the motor run at a consistent speed, much more consistent than the AC frequency that is generated from your wall outlet in your home. This makes the motor not only run at a more continuous speed, more consistent speed, but also makes it run a lot quieter. So in essence, what do we get more? We get a better sounding, quieter, better performing turntable. And you can clearly hear that. Ask your project retailer to do a demonstration of, for example, a debut carbon next to a 2 experience playing the same record. And you will hear the difference right away on a good quality system.